The winter weather is stunning and stranding sea turtles, but one group is taking action to make sure they get back on the right track. News Channel 3's Deminis Brown has the story new at 5.30. This loggerhead sea turtle is a lot warmer now. She came in extremely thin um, and cold stun as well. She had a body temperature of 58 degrees, which is, you know, low for her. Named after the fisherman who accidentally hooked her, BB Turkey is doing a lot better these days, but prolonged exposure to water temperatures below 60 degrees a few weeks ago did a number on her body. Their body temperature becomes too low to function, and they almost go into a coma state where they don't move. Linda Derry is a part of the Virginia Aquarium Stranding Response Team. It's here at the Marine Animal Care Center in Virginia Beach that several cold stunned or injured sea turtles go through rehab, getting the treatment they need to get back on the right track. Reptiles like to be warm. Um, unfortunately, though, sometimes the sea turtles don't make it out of the colder waters in time. In fact, BB Turkey was in the cold water so long that barnacles became severely embedded in her shell and she lost a lot of weight. Since being here, though, antibiotics are helping her on the road to recovery. I even had a chance to hold BB Turkey as we put her back in the tank and she swam away. Once the sea turtles receive a clean bill of health, they're tagged and some receive satellite transmitters to be tracked once they're out to sea. Our goal is to keep them wild, get them healthy, and place them back into their natural environment. An environment just right for them. Now, the stranding response team at the aquarium says it's around this time of the year through the early spring when water temperatures start dropping that sea turtles become cold stunned. So if you see one, you need to give them a call. Reporting live in the control room, Dominus Brown, News Channel 3.